And we're back and we're live and we're here with the uh, next group, uh, which is Bowman Disruption and Bad Boys Us. Bowman Disruption on your left, Bad Boys Us on your right. Bowman Disruption are wearing black with red. Bad Boys Us wearing blue with some red as well. Now, yeah, so they're Bowman Disruption doubling up the back centre. They've lost their snake size, so they need to push out. Bowman Disruption were a CPL team that's dropped down. They didn't do so well yet the last season, 2013, in CPL, and then they moved down to the semi pro league. This is their first match on the CPL since then. So far, so good. Four alive. And Bad Boys also have a big following. Bad Boys having some young players on their team. So the future of paintball here with Bad Boys. They also have a ladies team as well, they're called Bad Girls. They're up and coming. So they're a bit of a club in the paintball world. As they're pushing Dorito side. There's not much talking going on with Bone Disruption. I can't hear them talking anyway from up here. But they're pushing the corners. Bone Disruption have both corners. Snake Corner and Dorito Corner. And Dorito, three. Bad Boys have four players. I think it's four v, v three, to be fair. In Bad Boys' favour. They're all locked up. There's hardly any gun shooting. It's really, really rare with this amount of players on the field and very early in the game. Almost two minutes played. And hardly any paint flying in the air. And Bad Boys have just lost their player. So it's three on three. No one wants to lo you lose the first point. And SPL, you have ten minutes to uh, get four points. Or the team with the most points by the end of that time. Oh, and there's an outstanding move from this Bowman Disruption. Did or did it not pay off? It was a trade. It looks a bit painful, though. So it's, I think it's two on two. And the Bad Boys players just moved to back centre on your screens. Just got a bounce there going in. So lucky boy. And he wants to push Dorito's side because he wants to get the width and make the game last. Bowman Disruption uh, also got the width. They're in Dorito 3 and Snake Corner. Bad Boys mimicking their field. Also, Snake Corner and Dorito 2. It's a bit of a stalemate at the moment. With nearly three minutes gone on the clock. First point. They're starting to talk now. The two players remaining have to talk. Now, we don't have any uh, sideline coaching like we always used to in the Millenniums, but spectators can uh, help coach and talk to players if they wish. So it's up to the player to decide who they're listening to. So spectators can get involved in the game. However, there's no snake side coach. Oh, I think Bowman Disruption got an excellent shot there on Snake Corner cross field. And to finish it off, goes through to put the mug in as well for uh, the Dorito player. The Bowman Disruption player is asking for a check. He has been shot. He's out. He's asked for a check. He is out, which leaves with no penalty. One Bowman Disruption player remaining. I think it's Richard Pike. No, it's not. Stuffy. Stoney from number 18. How can I not know who he, who he is? Stoney works for Planet Eclipse back uh, in the UK. He's been around for many years, a lot of experience. And of course it's him to hit the buzzer and win the first point for Birmingham Disruption. Well played Birmingham Disruption. Well played Stoney. Now next up, they have a quick turnaround and it's Amsterdam Heat for all those Holland fans out there. And Ranger Warsaw to face each other and there's some uh, well known teams um, I, I enjoy the semi pro league um, because a lot of the time they're, they're teams that used to be pro they've gone down they're fighting for their way up and it is a fight they want to go up they want to be the best players in Europe and where else better to be than in the Millennium Series on your screens Rangers Warsaw touch back and start gate game on they're on the right and they're in blue Oh, there was a big old out there from uh, 
from the marshes. I can hear it from up in the tower. So two players taken out in the break. No, three players taken out in the break for Amsterdam Heat. A poor breakout for them. Strong breakout for Ranger Warsaw. Oh, as the last player there stumbles and takes the final shot. He's still alive. Very quick point there for Rangers Warsaw and they uh, pretty much win the point in 40 seconds against Amsterdam Heat. The point is good. Didn't even get a chance to tell you the colour of their jerseys and they win the game. Well, sorry, they win the point. A game is won after four points within the 10 minute bracket or the team with the most points. Now, there isn't a turnaround in two minutes like it used to be uh, for um, X Ball or Race 2 format in tournament paintball. You used to have that two minute turnaround between at the end of the point to then come out and start getting play again. Now they're putting groups of four and between each point the other team will come on. Now sometimes that does not work in your favour because after that last point you have 30 seconds to get to the start gate. Now that was a 40 second game. Do the math, do the math, one minute, ten, minute, ten seconds to get back on the start gate. So game on for Bad Boys, Oz and Bowman Disruption for their second point. Bowman Disruption lost their forward play on Dorito's side as Bad Boys also lose their corner player and a player from the centre. It's four on three in Bowman Disruption's favour as they push the snake side. Bowman Disruption sneaking around. Now it's best to hug the snake rather than sit out in the open. That's Chris Latham there, number two. The reason being is you're limiting your profile to be shot across the field. Bowman Disruption then push the snake corner to assist Chris Latham there in the snake. And from here, the, the communication is so much better. I can hear Bowman Disruption talking to each other. Perhaps it was first point nerves, the last point. Bad Boys Oz are, are quite tight, to be fair. They're playing very tight, locking up their guns and not making any movement right now. In fact, Bad Boys Oz and Bowman Disruption are playing a very si similar game plan in that respect. Chris Latham on your screens in, in the snake. Now, if you're a snake player, you often uh, use a technique called the clock. And the clock means you'll start at your 12 o'clock and you move around the clock depending on what side of the field you are in field. A lot of players who are inexperienced at playing the snake will come and shoot in field straight away whilst wrapping and they get uh, pinged by a corner, etc. If you go to all the pro clinics that explain what that is, your favourite team, your favourite player, they're all out there. Just um, look them up on Google, look them up on Facebook and see when the next clinic is. Birmingham Disruption also do clinics for the northern part of England and they train at CPPS in England. Now, Birmingham Disruption just lost their snake player, so Chris Latham's going to find it difficult now and the snake without his backup. He doesn't know that, obviously, now. Um, he'll probably notice the lack of communication coming from behind him and that's probably the only um, point he'll get knowing that he's lost his back player. Bad boys on your screens. They know that Chris Latham's in there. They know that there's a Birmingham Disruption player in there. So they want to get a width on the field, so Bad Boys are doing the right thing, pushing to back centre. The next move is to go uh, and fill the Dorito side. As it's three on three, I believe. I can't see, unfortunately, because of the M in the snake. Up in the media tower, we can't see across the field. But the screens at the moment are showing you snake side on Bad Boys. The Chris Latham in the Berman Disruption snake. The two bad boys players on this side are very much aware where he is. Chris Latham wants to stay alive. He wants to get those kills. And if he can't get the kills right now because the shot's not on, he needs to stay alive because he's causing all sorts of problems for bad boys staying in that position. Paintball is a game of angles. It's a game of aggression. It's a game of teamwork. If you get the angles, the teamwork and the aggression all together, then you're a winning formula. Now the aggression is a bit stalemate on here because, um, th as I said, the team, both teams have got a similar game plan. Stay alive, lock your guns. Don't take risks and move. Shoot, wrap and bump is a phrase that a lot of these players like to use. So come out, shoot. No one's shooting at you. Wrap, see if you can shoot someone else. Still no one's shooting at you, then move. At this level, there's always someone shooting at you. Might be one or two. You have two two guns shooting at you, then uh, you know that there's, uh, if there's still five players on that field, then uh, there's three other guns shooting elsewhere. So if no one's shooting at you, why not move? 
Why not move in paintball? Paintball is a game of variables. It's always ever-changing. If you want to be the best, you've got to keep playing and play the best. Chris Latham's doing a great job here. Disciplined, clinical paintball. Staying alive. And fantastic snapshot there from Chris Latham. And I believe it was a trade because uh, Latham also got shot. So, And uh, I think bad boys think... Yeah, bad boys are making the uh, aggressive now. I, it looks like it's Richard Pike in back centre. Richard Pike for back centre in Bowman Disruption. Yep. So, bad boys there. Get the point. They win it back. It's one apiece. And uh, up in the media tower, I have my good friend and uh, our anchor man, Mr. Maurice Van Decker. Hello, Maurice. Good morning, Shelley. Good morning. Now, I, I heard you had a little problem getting in this morning. <laughs> yes, well, you know that. If you're, if you're a foreign person live in France, sometimes, well, let's put it this way, the officials and let's put it this way, the police don't like you that much. Oh, <laughs> right. So okay. this morning, they had me kind of a checkup and then, of course... I had to do some stuff around because it was yes. half an hour late. Anyway, my yes. excuse to all the people at home. I'm here, and let's have a great day of paintball. And thank you for taking, thank God you're on site. <laughs> 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 and you took it over on that site. So you have the two voices now to uh, commentate for you uh, this morning. For the early risers out there that love your paintball, on your screens you have Roosters Ulm, Amsterdam Heat. Sorry, not Roosters on. Ranger Warsaw, Amsterdam Heat. Ranger Warsaw in your blue, in blue. Amsterdam Heat in red. And of course, Amsterdam Heat being a CPL team from a few years back. Yes. And let's see if they can make that work. Now, did it change over the squad and lose some people? I mean, it lost holding to Syndicate, if I can remember correctly. Mm. But that is something that will happen, you know. Every year you lose people, you get new <laughs> people. But in the building stage. But let's see how the Dutch people do. Ranger oh. Warsaw won the first yeah. point here, and oh they, won well. it, they won it within 40 seconds. Ooh, and now, honestly, the only thing is, well, the guy's in the snake already for um, Rangers Warsaw. So he actually took the corner and he missed that shot, so that's a shame. As we're looking onto the Ranger Warsaw, trying to shoot across, trying to shoot the Dorito 1, or Dorito 2, actually. Uh, it looks oh, like Rangers, get, yeah. Uh, Rangers getting a one-for-one one there. They've lo yeah, they've lost their player on their, their Dorito side. So they get a penalty. If they play it smart now, if Amsterdam needs to play it smart, they should be able. It's a two-on-two, it looks like. Looks like a two-on-two. Two. It does appear to be a two-on-two two here, but... Ah, he come and bunker him out. But where is he? Yep. Oh, yeah, he got him. It's a trade. trade. So the Amsterdam Heat player then... One on one. Player. Ooh, that's not really a smart thing to do. Stay in the middle of nowhere. And he it got it. And if it's, a, it's not a smart move because no. you run out into the open, you're going to get shot like yeah. that. Yeah. Especially if you don't know where he is. But he was looking for him, actually. I, it looked like he was looking for him. Yeah. Good play by the Amsterdam Heat. He knows it. He's tapping his head going, why did I do that? Yeah. You know, you're looking for a player. You're not quite sure where he is, where he's shooting at. There's, there's nothing you want to do. You don't want to move out into the open, especially a big old bump like that. I agree, but at the same time, uh, without the coaching, it changed the game a lot. Yes, and it has. People, yeah. will, it will take some time for teams to adapt to that. But I think it makes uh, players uh, a little bit more skillful. I agree, and a little bit more, you know, the peop you can really see um, the guys that have the sense of the game yeah. that, you know, know when to go. Mm -hmm. And that is something really good. I mean... I like that. I like I like intimate players. Yeah, I mean, I, I like sneaky players. Yeah, I think, <laughs> that's, I think that's, that's the old school in me. I get excited. <laughs> um, I really do when uh, when people sneak around. That's why I like the snake for this field layout because it's not a, the traditional straight line. No, I know it, it hides you yeah, a lot of spots. Yeah, yeah, and there's, there's some players out here that are relishing in it because you can have that sneaky as well as um, the modern type of. Play, keeping so, you going and this is? This is Bad Boys Oz and uh -huh. Bowman Disruption. Let's swap tens. So Bowman Disruption on your right, Bad Boys Oz on your left. Bowman Disruption lost a player on the break as they push the uh, the corners and they filled it straight away. Oh, and Bad Boys Oz, nice spread of the field, all five alive, back bunkers. They only have to read a one, but not taking any chances. They've got a point up and they're communicating pretty well. I see them talking to each other. Trying to shoot. They're all, both teams, are, I was saying earlier, that they're both very similar teams. They're, they're keeping on their guns and they're, they're bumping and not taking any risks. Uh, oh, and that first point was so long that this is already last minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, um, as I said, SPL only have 10 minutes I know, to get so four points. Um, oh, so, oh, 
and that means oh and that is out that lose another one so now they're three on five and they have to come at them yeah three on five three on five it's one apiece here oh and no nope, he's clean so actually bad boss a bad boy's also in the driver's seat now and they don't have to do anything just sit there guys just well, I don't wear I the think clock it, isn't it one piece one all i don't know i can't I don't see know. the scores on here so i think it's one all so one team's got to make a move here or well, they can play it out to overtime yeah well maybe they play it on overtime but if i would be bad boy's us i would go it's like 10 seconds it's like guys i mean stand up and go so one's going through the middle now see if he can make it happen and game over Game oh, over. and oh, oh and a one a for one. Yeah, it's a penalty, but uh, that's a one for one, so that doesn't mean automatic point. No. So that would mean that we get an extra, an overtime point. Yeah, that's our first overtime point here in the uh, yeah. media tower for CPL field. Which is really weird because normally this field is about speed, and I mean normally when you get, but again, I like the way that the bad boys just play, but they don't follow up on what they do. They, you get a guy off the break. Yeah. And then nobody moves, and it's like guys, you have only one minute. You have the advantage. You shoot a second guy. Yeah. Then run. I well, mean I I do, and, and I disagree because. That I was looking at the both the way the teams play, and they have they both have the same field game plan. You can see it yeah. that because one two teams, it's almost like that 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 saying in science when one what's that, what's that saying in science when there's one one movable object or something like that. Or when they're like that and they're so similar, I think it's hard to be aggressive. Well, they're in symbiosis, but that's the it, problem that's is the word. but the problem is if, if they're in symbiosis, then you shoot two players, you're mm -hmm. five on three. So with 30 seconds on the clock, I would run my oh, butt Oh, flying V, our favourite. I know. Why not? Well, why not? You can't lose, can't lose anything. So uh, exactly. It's Amsterdam Heat on your screen. So on the right, Rangers Warsaw on your left. Uh, and Amsterdam Heat losing one off the break. The corner Dorito. So now the Dorito guy's on himself. And of course, straight away advancing in Dorito 2 for uh, Rangers Warsaw just to make sure. No, so far, Amsterdam Heat to me aren't as fluid. I, I mean, I am comparing them to Rangers Warsaw. Now, Rangers okay. Warsaw are doing well, but they're not as fluid, are they? You, you can see how. Yeah. Strong. Oh, but, uh, they, but they equal it but out. But their guns are, That's their guns are good. Commentator curse. <laughs> it's always the way. <laughs> anyway, well, and now they're stuck and they've got the advanced position, so I would have agreed more. Oh, no, that is not good. Oh. If, if that is for the, for the Amsterdam Heat, that's not good. Having a snake on the opposite side is not good. So he's getting checked. He's asking for a check. He's gonna Reloading. Hug, yeah, he's going to hug that snake because he knows the paint's going over the top. Yeah, he must. But okay, just being there is already a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because what it does, it, it upsets the back centre. The back centre is forced to move, which he has done. He's just pushed to the uh, snake corner. And, good, good and the snake there. corner missed it. And the yeah. snake corner for Rachel Morsha missed that exactly. one. He was shooting that way, but good, he didn't see him. Good move. Sometimes yeah. you have to take those risky moves in order oh, to capitalize on the game. But that's a nice trade. He went all the way in, and he made it four on three, looks yeah, like. Yeah, on the other side of the field, there was a trade while we were watching the snake side. Okay. So over here in Puget sur Jeans. The local papers, Var Matan, have been following the uh, series and they're all over the paintball. On the front page, we have the paintball. I'll show, we'll show you in a little bit after this point. And uh, Rangers Warsaw pushing the tall tower and the snake. And uh, it looks like there's three players remaining. Amsterdam Heat have two. So it's two on three, with Rangers Warsaw in the most dominant positions on the field. Agreed, but that whole tower, as you told me yesterday, doesn't really serve you that much. So maybe it'd be nice for him. It doesn't to serve you that much at this point in the game. I must admit, I, it's quite handy if you know what you're doing in the in the first few seconds of a point. Yeah, because it's a nice way to shoot the Dorito side guys. I mean, that's not it's, it's, nice it's actually you got a bigger uh, lane there to shoot your Dorito corner yeah. than you do from back centre. Okay. So the players that choose to go to the tall tower will do so on the breakout. But as you can see, the Ranger Warsaw player, you can't see on your screens right now, he's backed right off that tall tower to get the angle because, as I said, there's not much shots there. And yeah, the option, that's the option that's I'll take. Go push to Dorito's side, Dorito 2, to uh, widen your options. 
about time he did that, though. Yeah. He, knew, he knew it was useless. I mean, but now for also it's becoming a waiting game. <laughs> but it's ticking down the clock. So this now you're a coach on Amsterdam Heat side. What do you do? Yeah. No. You are going to say either I'm going to leave it this way and, you know, I'm going to have them battle it out or because it's a dangerous game, three on two. It's yeah. always a dangerous game. But, okay, you can trust the people you have. I mean, they, they're nicely crossed up. They know they have to shoot across because nobody can do anything here unless you try to hunt them down. So I would think well it'd be the, the snake to have the ball. The snake no, should have advanced. What's happened is the positions on the field, the Rangers are also just slow on the uptake to push Dorito side. They've lost their Dorito side. So they, they're trying to now. Got yeah, but this guy here, he doesn't serve anything because he doesn't get him. Exactly. So advance it to the snake and try to get him in the back. Nobody's shooting at him. I would, if I, I yeah, mean, that yeah, there he we heard go. Me, he heard I was going to say, I'd, I'd push in inside or go in through the, mi the mini reducers there in the middle yeah. of the field. But the, the player has now pushed up. Obviously, we can say what we think. Uh, up here and he got him. And now yes, he got him. Yes. And now he has to hit the buzzer because yes, now. And the other player's been shot from across yeah. the field. So well That's played, what I mean. Ranger Warsaw. I mean, when we're up here in the media town, we've got a lot of experience, but we. We, we can't always see what the players can see on the field, and obviously their, vis their vision is limited compared to us because we've, got the, whole we've got the whole field yeah. and we can uh, dictate well, what he should and shouldn't it, do. Yeah, but it took the snake player some time to yes. realise nobody was shooting at him, and actually the corner, the corner mistake was he didn't protect the lane. Yeah, so to me, that, that maybe that uh, the Ranger Warsaw player is um, not a snake player, so he's probably ended up in there. Yeah. Go, hang on, guys, I'm here now. And that's where yeah. it's really important yeah. to be able to... No, no matter what player you are, back, medium, forward, yeah, walk that field. Yeah. And actually what he should have done, look at back, he would have seen that he had the tape, and then he knows that he would have put the guy in, so he could have walked on and, you know, he could have dumped him even. He could have yeah. dumped them both. Because you're protected from that side. If as long as you stay in the middle here, you're protected from him. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I mean, easy for us to say when well, we're up here. Easy for us to say, yeah. But and, anyway. we, and we do have the commentators uh, first yeah, as well. Like, oh, and now we've got the five-minute overtime game. Yes. And let's see if Bad Boys Us made the right now choice Maurice, or not. Now, Maurice, remind me the rules for an overtime point. Now, as far as I'm aware, they have five minutes to yes. score a point. However, yes. it's a penalty in those five minutes. Does that, does that count? Two for one. Only two, two, only two for one. So if a two for one penalty happens or within these five... Or three Yes, <laughs> or worse... Um, then the, the point goes to the opposition. Uh, but other than that, one-for-ones are still okay in this... Um, and if that doesn't work, then we get the shootout, which yes. we haven't had, I think. Last year, I can't nice. remember. Oh, that's, um, that's our Jabba. head ref, Jabba. Yeah, our favourite head ref. Great guy, though. <laughs> and then you've, the got, um, <laughs> then you've got a Berman disruption on your, on your screens there. Look at all the paintballs in the background. Yeah, I know. And it's only the beginning of day two. Yeah. Well, imagine the paintballs we're going to have later. Wow. So, yeah, coming up, we were mentioning earlier about the 1v1. Yeah. There's about a box in the corner there. Let's say every corner has already one piece, one <laughs> <Yeah>. box, <laughs> if not more. So the one-on-one -on -one championship is today at lunchtime. So I'm make looking sure forward you join to in. that. It's the first time we've ever done that, and I think it's one of those new things that are really cool. Yeah. Let's see who's the best of the best and who takes home the 1,000 yeah. euros and pays off the race. 32 players and only 13 pros. Ooh. So we'll see. I mean, it's a knockout tournament, two-minute games, with a thousand euros oh. for the winner. Let's see who, who the buys us dinner. And the pride as let's well. Let's, let's see. Let's see who <laughs> buys us dinner. Or at least a drink. <laughs> at least a drink. Well, okay. We'll be, so we'll be modest. Let's uh, just <laughs> overtime point here. Bad boys off on your screens versus Birmingham disruption. And now Bad we'll boys see on your if left. it paid off what they've done or if it hasn't paid off. Ah, and they lost. Nope. Too early for me to say that, but but bad well bad boys. Uh oh, and it's no, clean. clean. That's never good when a ref runs up to you. It's never good. So now we see uh, from the other side, five on five, quite almost mirrored positions. Uh, but uh, well, both doing the Dorito. Well, bad boys go Dorito two straight away. The other guys go Dorito one. Oh, and making them, well, not as such a smart move. And they got the snake. So now, as I said to you before, danger, dangerous play by bad boys. Also. I would have not let that point go away from me in the last. No. Because now it's, it's playing risk. Russian roulette. Bowman disruption staying tight. And they disruption haven't made doing any big moves yet, but they're, you know, staying hot on their guns. Oh, did he get pretty, him? Pretty nope. mirrored the field, isn't it? It's yeah. pretty mirrored up. Well, one side is advanced on the Dorito side, and the other is advanced on the snake side. Yes. So, oh, and losing the one, the cross shot, 
It's the uh, end that did the cross shot between. That's uh, Mr. Sony took the shot to the head. It's unlike so him, he's very four experienced. Four. And oh, the bad boy's lost. Moved up to Dorito 3. He's clean. Now, now you don't let that guy go anymore because now he can wrap, try to wrap around you for the mini M. And the mini M is trying to, you know, shoot across. Yeah, they're locked up here. They're locked um, up here. So now it's up to this snake player, I would say, be up to this snake player or the guy behind him to help him. It's funny because the bad boys player here that's in that position there, which we call the god, the door, the mini M just before the snake, he looked very positive on the break. I thought he was going to go all the way, but he didn't. He stopped short there. Well, maybe he I saw a lane. Yes. Yeah, but maybe he saw a lane. Exactly yeah. right. And it, really good form from that player because he had his head up and looking across the field the whole way in. Yeah, but he is cutting them off, and that's what I would have done. Good. That's a smart move. That's what I would have done. Get more angle on people. Because, of, of course, paintball at the end of the day is still a, mm. a game of angles. So if you can see on your screen that, that the player sitting in the mini M in front of you, he's shooting across field towards the Dorito. He's locking off ah, that side of the field. And now he's wrapping, and now he's starting to wrap, and now the center has to start watch out that he doesn't get wrapped. Yes. That's what I would do now. I would continuously shoot at that center. Now, the guns have stopped rolling. Well, everybody's saving paint. But well, again or they've shot the paint. Have you looked at the back of his, his pack? It, all the yeah. flaps are hanging down. Yeah. But that's two minutes and 30 seconds still left. So it's an overtime point. Yeah, Someone's going to win this. Well, somebody or has to win this. It goes to a shootout. Yeah. And as I said earlier, these two teams, Bad Boys and Home Destruction, to me, seem very similar teams. Well, again, I still believe that in the last point, at the 15 seconds on the clock, they should have run up the field. I mean, they were three on five on three. Yeah. You can, if ex everybody exchanges, you still have two alive. So you say three people go up. You understand? It, it's just, no. Now, they are definitely running out of paint because yeah. Bad Boys are... Oh, but he can't stay more than a meter from yeah. his gun, so he has to watch out for that. But bad boys are throwing paint to each other. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh and he gets shot off. And that now's the opening, but now they have to go. Because now it's only one they minute and 33 go. left. The boom destruction try to make something happen there. I think looking at the time, yeah, but it didn't pay off, did it? They but got shot. why does he still shooting there? Come on, move up. I don't think because of the... Finally he's going. See. There finally. we go. I don't there think you can go. see. Move up. What are you waiting for? He couldn't see what was happening across the field, I don't think. He couldn't, and he's still yeah. not. And look, they don't know where they are. They're trying to communicate, but nobody's... Oh, and I think... Yeah, that's one. So Richard okay. Pike takes one to now, the pack. And now it's about go. And just now let's see. left, number 17. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, and that's it. And Bad Boys Oz win the point in the overtime. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, unfortunate for the Bone Disruption, they, they lose their first match, and it's their, um, their first match back on the CPL since being demoted mm. to SPL. Yep. So, well, let's hear about Jabba, what he decides. As I was saying earlier, Bad Boys have some uh, really young players. In fact, one of their players is only 14 years old. And he's playing That's at this a level. good time to stay. That's a yeah, good time to good start if you really start good. at that age. Yeah, his name's uh, Ruben Van Masaka. And Ru I, I apologize if I've not pronounced that right, but Ruben Van Masaka, he's from Bad Boys. And he's going to be playing in the 1v1. Uh, on one. Let me help you with that. Yeah. Because that's Dutch. It's Van Masaka. But it doesn't Von matter. Van Masaka. I like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, uh, well done, uh, <coughs> Ruben. Only 14 and wants to take on the 13 pros which are lined up for the one-on-one -on -one championship. Well, that's the only thing I heard yesterday is I heard some people say, well, no way in, 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 <laughs> in God's world that I'm going to play that one because I don't want to be the one that loses and then everybody yeah. can say they've beaten me. Well, I just think that's, so you know, it's brave and why not? Because, yes, you'll lose, but what if you win? I mean, that's pretty good. What, if you, what if you beat the likes of Nick Sloak and <laughs> or uh, uh, Justin Rabicon? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or Kevin Coombe? I know, I know. <laughs> Well, hey, then it means you've got cojones, as they would say. <laughs> <laughs> the language. Big cojones. Yeah, big cojones. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go back to the paper. We've got Amsterdam Heat. Um, and now they have to come, Amsterdam Heat. I think it's Rangers Russia won that one. So now they have to come aggressively. And they do. And actually, there's one. Oh, yeah, and they is that do. a penalty? No, um, no. No. Oh, but they also lose one. So now the big problem is they have. Like what, oh, and three another and one. Oops. So uh, oh. Amsterdam and Heat are playing so much better in this point, which they need to do. Well, they did lose. Oh, wait a minute. They lost two. There are only two left. Or three. Two or three. I don't see that much more. Yes, three. 
It's three on two. Oh. And three on one. Now they have to come. And he's Great coming. Great shooting. He's Here coming. he comes through the center. Hello. Oh, he got shot coming through. But yeah. it's the it's final one of his player. teammates. One of his teammates already, you know, shot him. He yeah. didn't. Smart of him to not to shoot one ball. Yeah. Because that would have been a one for one, maybe yeah. even a two for one. And there goes the point. I, you know, it's happened to most of us. You do that run through, that old school run through through the middle. You, you're bound to be clipped to the back of the head by your teammates or whatever. It's not nice when it happens, but it happens. There's so much paint flying well, around. Yeah, well, he but he made a mistake because he saw the gun, and he in the last second he saw the gun. He said, like, why don't I go on the inside? Yeah. But that was too late. He already got shot. But that happens. I mean, it's hey, he tried, and there were yeah. three on one anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's true, and the guys that follow with him up. But we see that a lot now, that we see got one guy shooting through the middle and the other guy don't follow on him. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about Amsterdam Heat here is they did follow up. So yes. now, of course, we got to two minutes. So we've got something to show you guys. Look at this. Actually, the VAR Matin, this morning, the local French, south of France newspaper. There it is. And here we go. What's this? Puget sur Jean article. I think it's really good for paintball. We've got this some... The yeah. whole, whole report on the event itself. We've got some interviews here with Kevin Coombe and Axel Golden. So French heroes, obviously, in the paintball world. Yeah, and, and, that's, and that's something we like to see. Now, this helps paintball. Yeah, and all yeah. The, the wars and the quavels, that doesn't help. But this does help. But all over um, Puget, uh, Puget sur Argent, we're not far from Saint-Tropez. We're not far from Monaco. It's a beautiful area, mountains, uh, harbours. Uh, but... Um, not all over the place, we've got adverts for paintball, haven't we? We've got the uh, digital adverts, we've got uh, billboards, A boards, all saying, come on down to watch this uh, big paintball event here, the first round of the Millennium Series. Agreed. And as you look into the, well, when people, when they're playing, you can see it, actually the stands are quite filling up. And we've got yeah. great weather today. Normally the forecast for today and tomorrow is beautiful weather. Beautiful actually, weather. we're going to take off our jackets. It's just soon. cold in here because we're in a little Yeah, but that's good. Hey, <laughs> start complaining. You know what? When it gets like 30 degrees, start I'm, complaining. I'm British. <laughs> what we do is just complain about the weather. But no, hopefully, my fli I've got my flip-flops in my bag. I've got my t-shirt on underneath. It's going to get warmer, we hope, anyway. Yeah, and, and then we can finally drop the jacket. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yesterday, it was too cool to, to do that. But <laughs> anyway, that's why I live here. I mean, the weather is always, well, one day of rain normally, but not that much. Yeah. And okay, unluckily yesterday we had a few drops, but we're quite lucky yesterday. Yeah. We didn't have that much. So, um, coming up today, we have an exclusive interview with uh, Konstantin Fedorov from Art Chaos. Oh, yeah, you did that one yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So you sneak off so to do that. coming up. Uh, there's also an interview with Infamous. And not all the players are out here, but we have uh, half the players who won the PSP Dallas over here. Uh, including uh, Bobby Arvils, but we have an interview to later on coming up with uh, Damien Ryan, uh, Brad McCurley and uh, Zach Wake, who was the most valuable player out there in PSP Dallas. So, um, yeah, he's a, a very happy chap, but they're all out here guesting for other teams. We also have uh, the draw for the one-on-one -on -one competition, which we keep going on about, that happens at lunchtime. So the one-on-one -on -one draw is where any of the players here registered uh, to play in any of the divisions of the Millenniums can enter this competition, only 32 players, in order to win 1,000 euros. And then, of course, something really nice this afternoon, the Veterans Cup. And that's going to be fun, yes. watching the 40-plus dive into the snake, do run-throughs through the middle, whack people in the back and yep. I will so love to see that. we're going to enjoy because yeah. we love a little bit of our yeah. old school. So the veterans, we're kind of all old 40 school. plus, 40 <laughs> plus, <laughs> yep. with eight national teams competing this evening. Uh, so there will be the national anthems and then the tournament itself on the CPL yeah, field. Yeah, with six teams. And actually the fun thing about this though is um, I was asked to play but then I had a problem because they've the French guys, which I normally play with, I can't play with them because it's a national yeah. thing. He's so a Dutch I man. <laughs> so I have to play with the Dutch and I'm <laughs> like, uh, no, it's okay. I'll stand up in the commentary tower and commentate. Because yeah, a lot of people believe that Maurice is French. He can't speak many languages, well, but he know, is our fellow Dutch I know who's Dutch to blame, man. though. That's that bear guy, you know. He always says to everybody, I'm the, his favorite French man, so that's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. So we, Worldwide. So we go back to this, um, <laughs> this uh, final bout here on the SPL divisions. Amsterdam Heat. Rangers Warsaw, Rangers Warsaw on your right, Amsterdam Heat on your left. Rangers Warsaw had the upper hand so far, however, Amsterdam Heat winning the last point. Well, I think they equaled it out yet. I think it's equal. Yeah, um, started strong, uh, Rangers Good. Warsaw. Well. They won the first point in 40 seconds. They now just over have just over two minutes left on the clock. But Amsterdam Heat having a much better field position into the snake already. But can he make it work? Can he shoot the corner? In the corner you can see his foot, and I think that's what he's trying to shoot. 
Oh, no, first he did the, first he did the uh, back center. And now if he's smart, he's trying to, sh uh, try to shoot. No, oh, oh, and it, does he get that one? No. No, he didn't. The Rangers are pushing the Dorito side. They're now in Dorito 3, so they'll uh, wrap and look to push. Yeah, and well, Dorito and he get, 2. And he gets it. And the, he did uh, get so two good shots. Oh, two of them get shot. Yeah, so that's harsh for Rangers Warsaw. I mean, obviously, they play on, you play on, but they've pushed Dorito side yeah. heavy and then get the one for one. Both players are taken out. And um, Rangers Warsaw looks to me like they have one player remaining in Snake Corner with uh, Amstan Heat sitting there in their own snake. Looks like a one-on-one, -on -one because you can always tell when there's a one-on-one, -on -one, but where the positions of the refs are on the field. <laughs> and uh, out. Uh, Amsterdam Heat, he's the last player alive, yeah. gets the shot. And um, I don't know what's happened there with the refs. Uh, the Amsterdam player looks a bit confused. Uh, was there a towel thrown? There's one minute seven left on the clock. And he thought he had that. And he thought he had that. He's not quite sure. I'm not quite sure, to be fair. So I'm just well, looking at the refs. If he was, if they were smart enough, they would have thrown the towel. Yeah. Because with one minute, still anything's possible. The first point they made yeah. in 40 seconds. Yeah. So we all often are guided by what the refs are doing, and we are also guided by what the players are doing. We've got our friends yo, up yo, here. Yo, what's good? Barry G, I'm back. Feels so good to be back. how was your game? Good. I, I played with uh, Scorpion Milano's. We played on the CPL field. Uh, we turned up. We, we were winning 3-1 uh, against a team from Russia. Yeah. Uh, we let the team come back. We started messing up on the Dorito side and our shooting, but we ended up winning the match, so that's all that matters. Yeah. I agree. 8-4-3 is still a win. So yeah, yeah, we'll <laughs> take it. So that put us at 3-0 uh, and in the prelims, which is good. No, I'm happy. Good we're going to go on Sunday. So. If you want to watch Bear playing earlier, then you can do by looking back on the live webcast. Um, and Mr. Worldwide will be playing the Scorpions Milano, <coughs> the Mad Italians, and uh, Mr. Max Which Lundberg. beanie were you wearing? I was red. on a red beanie. Red. Okay, so you yeah. guys know red beanie on Scorpions. Red it's beanie. him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is, this is a great game. I'm, I'm glad I got up here. Um, I didn't want to miss this. I've been watching it from down there. Heat's playing phenomenal. I yes. got to practice them before the event. Um, they play really good running and shooting. They have really good offense, and obviously, they're, you know, they're showing it. Yeah, I mean, they started off slow in this, uh, this game, but they're coming right back at them. Um, Obviously, they've got a two-minute turnaround because the other game has finished. So what the refs are doing, because they're, they're a big team, aren't they? The refs, look at them. There's eight referees on the CPL field with the head ref, Jabba. You know, I have to say something. These refs are so good. You know, they're professional. They don't take any, uh, any grudges. You know, I, I argued a little bit with a ref before the match. Like, you know, you pulled one of my players because his hand wasn't on his head. Yeah. And they're so professional. They were so good. You know, they really understand the rules. And it makes the game easier, you know. They don't alter the game. They just judge it. And that's, that's a big difference from the U.S. and Europe. Yeah, and we had Oliver Lang up here yesterday as a guest, yeah, and he and was he talking about that. that. No, but he and agreed the difference, with us. He agreed, and the difference between the uh, American referees compared to the European professional re referees, we're so much stricter over here. Um, but on the other side, uh, it's also... Um, I heard Ryan, who said the opposite of Oliver, so yeah. that was fun. That yeah, was fun. but Ryan's small, and he's got a weird haircut. All right, and he'd already coming out strong. Four guns up off the break, going right up the center. Uh, their Dorito player keeps wrapping. Uh, great shot with wrapping from the second Dorito shooting inside. And then he stands up. Wow, we got oh, a little bit of action. Oh. <laughs> Take it in the back and walk it home. And he's right. out. He just took a few to the back. Now, there's a player that's oh, there that's talking the over one. there. So and that's, that's another one for one. one. Just what I was talking about. And another one for one. Wow. And, and game. players are and just game. dropping. And game. And Pick game. Toe three in a row. He's oh, there's take even more oh, one-for-ones now. And there's more that, one for ones. that one for one has come across the field because the Amsterdam Heat players have are shot, talking, yeah. arguing. Now, if we we're just saying about the refs, if you open your mouth, any gesture, I being just shot said it. That here. is the commentator's curse. We yes. talk about that every time. You do not argue. You do not talk when you're dead. That is major call for penalties. Now, not knowing really what happened for Amsterdam Heat there and what shots they took, they did talk while they were dead, and hence the one-for-ones were coming in. Well, and uh, Ranger Warsaw win the game. Um, are you sure? Well, I believe I. No, I don't think so. I think there's a no point. I see nobody doing anything. Have they done the whole no, no I, point? I think that's yeah. going to be a no point. Yeah, um, because they, both the of them last have nobody player left. on Amsterdam Heat actually got a one-for-one. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like any pro sport. You don't argue with the referees. No, yeah. You're asking you're right. for There's trouble. One second left on you know, the yeah. you don't argue. So you just get eliminated. You let the ref do his job. You walk off the field. Unless, 
That's what I was thinking. If there's a two for one, because it looked like a two for one over there. I mean, the refs got really excited. That's why I thought I said it game because the, the well, it's less than a minute left see. to play. I can't see. I can't see. Wow, it looks like that's match. match. I, I think I think it is match. Yep. There's the one yes, to play. The, uh, more than two for ones come in. Uh, and um, they, they got a one for one, but they got a two for one. So that that that, that so makes so it. So who, so who are the winners? So well, hey, I think Amsterdam Heat is I jumping up in the air. Yeah, they look. Yeah, yeah, they are. He's Amsterdam. gonna take it. They're jumping up and down like they just are celebrating <laughs> pinata time. He's gonna take that. So confusing up here they in the media tower. They it's know pretty how to party. Well, they know hey, how to you've celebrate. been up here all by yourself, so you you know it takes a little bit more time yeah. after one hour just to get. Because I saw that straight away. I saw the guy do two guys. So you know. What oh, you do, do you know what? Ones. We're looking at. You're saying that, but that's Birmingham disruption. That's not Amsterdam Heat. Birmingham okay. disruption have come out to shake the hands no, that's of Amsterdam bad boys. Heat. Right. No. Nope. No, they're shaking the hands of Bad Boys Offs, and Bad Boys Offs didn't play. Oh, they're coming at you. Coming at you. No, that's the Amsterdam Heat. No, it can't be coming at you. Coming at you, CPL, that's my dear. That's the Amsterdam Heat. No, look at that. Look at that. That's the, that's the other team. Amsterdam Heat it's wears Amsterdam the Amsterdam Heat, heat my dear. Sorry. It's so Amsterdam who, no, who Heat. Who in the blue and the red? <coughs> that's Rangers Watch No, that's Bad Boys Offs. That's, that's Ruben. I was telling you about the 14 year old. That's Bad Boys Offs. Well, actually, of course, no, I can see it's bad boys off. So mm. I don't know why one team Dutch shake the, the hands of the other Dutch team, even though they didn't play so each other. So they didn't play each other. So the two teams who <laughs> yeah. didn't play each other just shook hands, yeah, well which are confusing everyone up here in the media tower. But No, um, but again, just trust me on this. <laughs> Heat one. Heat one. I mean, just trust me on that one. I'm 1,000% sure. So anyway. when, uh, that, in that case, it was the two winning teams that have come out there. So Maybe. Uh, Amsterdam Heat and bad boys off, the winning teams have come out to shake hands, which is a little bit odd, but, <coughs> you know, great, well yeah, done to them. No, but they did that on purpose to see if you're awake. So yeah, that's done on well purpose. we are it's now.